I am Andy. I want to be the biggest star in the world. Your act is like amateur hour. And I'm not like everybody else. I really like what you did out there. I'm not a comedian. I don't want to go for cheap laughs. Sure. What's wrong with this guy? They detest you. That means we're a success. Man on the Moon, released in 1999, was a biographical film about the late comedian Andy Kaufman and starred actor Jim Carrey. Foreman had seen Kaufman perform on stage as far back as the mid-70s and was intrigued by the comedian's style and unusual offbeat sense of humor. In 19, I think it was 1975 or 1976, Bug Henry, took me to improv in Los Angeles. There are some new guys there. So, so we go there, and there is this kid who comes on the stage, is carrying a small book, and says, I'm going to read you a short story, short story which is about this and this. And for 10 minutes, he's telling you what the short story is about. And then he opens the book and starts to read the same the short story. We were described every detail of that story. And the first five minutes and he started to read it, I, I really felt sorry for him. I really felt like, oh my God, this guy, this guy is he's thinking he's funny. Five minutes later, not me, oh, everybody, most of us were laughing, rolling on the floor laughing. And I didn't know why. But that was Andy Kaufman. Every time then, since then I heard about him, I just became fascinated. And a few years ago, it was the Michael Douglas, is, uh, again, it, he's in my life. I think it was his 50th birthday party. And Danny DeVito was there. And Danny, you know, I knew him, and I loved him. And here he is today. He has a production company. He knows Andy Kaufman. So I go to him and says, uh, Danny, I'd like to make a movie about Andy Kaufman, and he got enthusiastic, and uh, that was it. Well, I thought I was going to be a lot more involved in the picture. Uh, I was only there for a couple of days myself, but uh, of course Andy was there, and uh, Tony Clifton was there, and uh, so I don't really know a lot about Milos Forman, uh, except what I hear. I can sincerely say that during the shooting of uh, Men on the Moon, I met Jim Carrey only twice. And that was two Saturdays when we had dinner. Otherwise, every day I met either Andy Kaufman or Tony Clifton or Elvis Presley or Latka. The interesting thing that I heard about, about the way uh, Milos was working, was that uh, at first he was a little annoyed that, you know, that he wasn't dealing with me which he, I guess he thought he was going to be dealing a lot more with me when he first took the project on. And I don't think that he did it, that he transformed himself into the character the moment he stepped out of the car. I think he woke up that character that morning already. After the first two weeks, you know, the first week he would come to me, he'd call me at home and he'd say, I'm tired. I'm so tired. You know, I don't know how to handle Tony. You are a complicated person. You don't know the real me. There isn't a real you. Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> I don't know, and I don't want to know how actors work. <laughs> uh, all I told him, you know, Jim, instead of half an hour every day in the gym, watch the tapes of Andy. You couldn't get further out <laughs> than, than, uh, than what was done on this project. And, uh, and he was really the, the, the first one to join forces with me and with Tony and with Andy on it and go, <clears throat> you know what, I don't know how to handle it yet, but, uh, but I certainly would never tell you to stop. Uh, he's a big, big artist rights person. He believes in the artist. He believes in uh, that you know, that these expressions and these choices happen for a reason. He appreciated the fact that it was different than anything either of us had ever done. And, uh, and what better place for an artist to live? Now, Andy, did you hear about this one? 
love getting to a point where you don't think about the material anymore and it's above the material. That's great when that happens, you know, but, but oftentimes, I mean, there were many times when I, you know, when I would uh, go to Milos and say, uh, I think Andy screwed it up. And uh, Milos would sit there and go, no, 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 it's, it's perfect, it's perfect, like that. And, uh, you know, I'd get all upset and I, I knew that I could do better. You're insane, but you might also be brilliant. And, uh, and of course, I would go and I would do it and I'd do it. 10 more times and then ultimately look back and realize that he was right and that he had what he needed and he knew what he wanted. It's very hard to uh, intrude on somebody else's vision, but it seems to me that... Uh...